Croatia 2, Albania 2. And if I'm not wrong, this might have been my prediction, but I'm not sure. You guys have to go and check and let me know right in the comment section. This result is big for Albania because <clears throat> this means that they are now they stay on top of Croatia, even though they're playing Spain, which is going to be a really, really tough game. If Spain win tomorrow, Spain might decide to just rest their players or play, but Spain's team B is still really good. But Albania will have a better chance. And you, you've seen that they, they can cause big teams problems. Their biggest issue is just that they can't sustain it, right? So, yeah, puts them in a good position. They only lost by one goal in the last game. Croatia lost by three goals in the last game. So, already that's a two-goal difference in their goal difference. And, um, yeah, Albania still have a chance. Croatia have to beat Italy in the next game. There's no choice after this 2-2 draw. One thing I realized about this game, Ali, is that the in-swingers from the left from Asani was causing, they were causing a lot of problems, a lot of problems for Croatia. And it was Asani. Aslani was playing in midfield, also moving there. They were just causing a lot of problems. The first goal came from that. Asani swinging the ball in from the left side. And uh, it was, who scored the goal? Ramadani, who's actually the midfielder. Don't even know what he was doing there. He went all the way in and <laughs> scored a goal. So the movement within the team, this is one thing I've seen with Albania, that they didn't do as much in the last game against Italy, simply because Italy just had more of the ball and just nullified any potential opportunities they had. They were the, the movement was really, really good. Ramadani is actually a defensive midfielder, but he's in the box. He's the one who's father's forward trying to head at the ball. Manai, who's the striker, was doing a lot of work on the right side. Asani was kept on coming back to the middle of the of the park and those in swingers just cause, causing causing problems. I believe uh, Livakovic, the keeper, should have done better, but uh, the ball just squirmed in. He couldn't do. He, I mean, once it passes him, there's nothing much he could have done. But before that, he, I feel like he could have saved that goal. But Jrami was uh, Barami is actually how you say his name. This time he played on the left side. <clears throat> uh, first game against Italy, he's only scored that goal, the fastest ever goal in the at the Euros after 22 seconds. Uh, he was also very lively on the left side, on his left side. Um, and as we said earlier, Manai was uh, drifting to the right and he was the striker. So yeah, the movement up front with Albania was quite, quite impressive. Um, another in-swinger from Asani, 15 minutes in, uh, was led to a shot, I think, um, which was easily uh, taken care of by the Croatian defense. And then 30 minutes in, Livakovic had to save from Aslani again. This was a crucial save. There was a pass that came from, again, now this time Aslani is actually in the middle of the park, right? And then, because he's left-footed, him and Aslani just keep on confusing me because they're both left-footed and they're playing around the same area. So he played off the pass. Um, I can't remember the pass too. I think it was to Barami. And then the defender, Croatia defender, just touched the ball, which just made sure the ball went to the path of, uh, I want to say Barami, but I'm not sure. But Livakovic saved it one-on-one, -on -one, and that was a crucial save because it meant they went... Like even though it was 30 minutes, they only kept it at 1 nil. Then going into the second half, Croatia really, really just stepped it up. They're like, no, like we need to flex our muscles. We're the team that has been to a World Cup final, a World Cup semi final, the last two actually. Like we need to step it up. And the pressure tool, they really, really pressured this team. Albania could not get out at all, at all, at all. Um, 74 minutes in, finally, Kramaric gets his goal. It was. Uh, Passed by, uh, 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 who was it, who was it, who was it, who was it, I need to get, Pasalic. So Pasalic, um, the pass into Kramaric, and then Kramaric just finishes to make it 1-1. The pressure was finally, finally, it was getting to Albania. And at that point when Kramaric scored, you were like, okay, these guys need to go on and win this game. And not too long after, literally like two minutes later, they are in again. Uh, this time it was, uh, who's the number 16? Budimir. So they really, at this point, uh, Perisic was basically playing as a left wing back. He started the game. He was basically playing as a left wing back. And um, Budimir <coughs> is now running into the half space like that is left in between there. So Perisic was providing the width and Budimir just ran through a nice pass to him. And then he tried a cutback. The ball came to Susic. I want to say it was Susic. Um, I believe it was him. I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, Suchic, Suchic. The ball comes into Suchic, who had come on as a sub at halftime, and then um, he shoots. It hits the defender, and then it hits the it hits the the captain, and then hits the defender, and then goes in. And Jim City, it hit Jim City, and then it hit guys. Uh, these names were actually really crazy. That's why I'm trying to remember all the names. I'm trying to remember all the names. Um, 
Yasula. Yes. So it hits Jim City, then it hits Yasula, then it goes in. And that's an own goal. And that's our top scorer for Euro 2024 is Mr. Own Goal. 2-0, two, uh, sorry, 2-1, two, two goals in two minutes. Like that was, that was, you could tell like, yo, these guys actually, they've stepped it up. And from this point on, you, you felt like Croatia would just go on easily and win. But Zlatko Dali said making those changes um, and decided to bench. So like Perisic came off, uh, Brozovic came off, Kramaric came off. Uh, yeah, so it just I feel like they just went a bit defensive. And Albania, to their credit, decided not to give up. And finally, in the 90 plus sixth minute, the person who scored the own goal, Yasula, went and scored the winning goal. There was a deflection from one of the defenders. I think it was Sutalo. Um, the, the ball was, it was a cross, and then he, he kind of just deflected it and came into the path of Yasula, and he just finished with finished with a plum that's the word i was looking for finished with a plum to make it 2-2 and just like that they managed to salvage a 2-2 draw from nothing which could be a very very crucial uh point for albania for croatia now you just have to go and beat italy there's no other choice otherwise you're out but yeah that is how croatia versus albania went uh, the other game is Spain versus Italy. That's going to be tomorrow. And we're going to be live for that on TikTok. Make sure you tune in. Peace!